Hi, welcome to Bead With Me. I am hanging out with Jonah here this afternoon. Um, we have been doing a Zoom meeting with his kindergarten teacher since he can't go to school. And it's been a really great experience. He can see all of his classmates. He can see his teacher, which he really, really adored. Didn't you love your teacher, Miss Aikida? You want to say hi? Where is it? Um, in the front, behind the counter. Um, excuse me. So he got a chance to, you know, interact. She had some really good activities. Uh, she got them up and stretching, which, you know, kind of got me thinking about, you know, being here with you guys. You know, um, you guys have been giving me a reason to get up in the morning, getting my jewelry on, getting my makeup on. And you know, I was kind of thinking that's uh, kind of really important right now because I know we're feeling kind of cooped up at home. You know, I know you can wear your PJs, but you know, to kind of stay into those regular routines, which is um, kind of, you know, getting into the new groove of a routine. But still, you know, um, routines are good that way for us. They're nice and healthy. Um, they keep us feeling like um, we have a reason to get up in the morning, right? So coming to bead with me uh, or going out for that walk. I've been enjoying kicking the ball around and um, like I was talking earlier, learning a lot of things about uh, doing videos, doing um, this Zoom chat, which I have used before, um, but I'm finding that maybe it's a good time for us to do it too so um i plan on doing a little chat room with you guys and and you guys can join in we can see your beating stations um and i thought maybe we could um see how that feels okay so tomorrow i'm going to right after the bead with me i'm gonna set up a here you gotta scoot in a little closer if you want to get in um a Zoom, uh, a Zoom chat room tomorrow. I'm gonna send out the link and the information to get in. Um, and so you can set up your camera. Um, I don't think that you have to have a, a Zoom account, but I'm, I'll check in on that um, with the, all the information that I'll post up for you. And you can uh, join and continue beating with us, okay? So, Jonah, what can I help you with? Well, these little stickers. Uh -huh. And if you want, you can keep on. I think they're like window stickers or something. Yeah, these are like, um, they call them. I was going to trace on them. Chalk. To trace by them. Around the edges? Yeah. Okay, can you? In the window. On the okay, these are, well, don't peel them and put them on the window because I don't think they're for that. No, on the mirror, I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to go on the mirror. These are, um. What? actual stickers but you can write on them with those chalk markers I think I'm trying to keep those bids kids busy oh thank you um, is always a challenge but like I was saying um, we did his uh, morning kindergarten routine um, now Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning with his kindergarten teacher and I really like these zoom rooms so I would love to connect with you guys there um, and all any other um, beaters and you kind of don't have to be local so you know it gives us um, everyone a chance to huh? talk and uh, get together and it's not just me talking to myself to you guys okay so today i thought i'd go over some wire loops and wire wrapping okay um i made some of these sweet little earrings i thought we could do these ones do these ones today um i think i'm going to do some things that are kind of on the fly too but you know this is a, a wire wrap so let's take a look at wire loops and wire wraps let's see here guys let me switch the camera around so i love wire wrapping so wire wrapping okay uh yesterday we did memory wire and at the very end we had just a loop okay i'm gonna go over the basics of that okay along with this loop and then you'll see kind of the swirl afterward okay is the wrap Okay, this technique is used, I mean, 
It's a basic. Got to got to do it. Okay? Uh we have anything wire wrapped you can think of. Earrings are simple, easy, quick. Don't take a lot of beads, you know, so whatever you have lying around at home. So these are just some samples of things that are uh wire wrapped. Okay? Let's see. So and I will have these earring uh, kits available to you guys. So if you like these, um, you guys can have a set too. And I will kind of go over some of the materials a little bit later that you can uh, check out with me. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. All right, let's see. Going over wire looping today. So let's see if we can get a good uh, close up because that's all I think always hard on videos that you see online is you can show pictures um, but sometimes we don't quite get the angle okay so let's talk about wire okay um, I'm using kind of a thick gauge wire so you know we used a uh, beading wire and crimping earlier um, but this is something called hard wire okay comes in different gauges different thicknesses comes in different colors gold silver copper uh, we carry all of those things also sterling plated okay um, we like it so it kind of can bend in your hand okay um, because in this case I'm gonna start off with making I'm gonna Maybe mess around with some of these parts here. Let's see. Playing around. So I thought, let's see. What do we think, guys? I, I thought maybe we could do, if anybody has a, a preference, I was thinking of, I was playing with some of these beads. I was having a hard time uh, deciding. Let me... But since we... We're using some of these earlier this week. Some of these. Really pretty crystals. Okay, but we have a lot of fun choices. Well we know we know blue is always pretty. What do you think? Do you Shall we go crystalled out? Or some shells would be pretty. What do we think? So if we did... We could do something like that. We could do... Let's see. Let's clear. We could do something like this. This would end up being kind of like that. Or do we like maybe something like this? Okay, I'm going to go kind of funky. I think I want to do this one here. I think I'm going for that. What do we think? Alright, I like these uh, really sturdy ring frames. Carry them in different sizes, different shapes. I like these uh, marquee ones, so these can look very pretty. Alright. I just, we decided on these. <laughs> okay, since we're doing gold, we've got something called a head pin. Okay, if we look at that a little bit closer. Okay, there's a little head on the bottom. Okay, that keeps our bead from falling off. Okay, right, sliding that on that there okay I'm going to demonstrate the wire loop right now okay so today's pliers we're going to be using here are round nose pliers and then I'm going to use a pair of uh, flush cutters okay 
Um, these round nose are kind of narrow tip. I prefer narrow tip just because I want to be able to get in tight spaces and um, not taking up sometimes a lot of room. But depends. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is hold as close to the bead as we can. Okay? So almost so that the bead wouldn't spin, but this it's always going to spin, which is okay. Catch just a light there in our favorite blue. Okay, and you'll see I'm going to push with my finger here. Okay, so you can see it went perpendicular to the opening. Okay, that way then you'll have the leverage to push it forward without it coming out. Okay, you'll see that I pushed with my finger on the top. Okay, I do that because if I'm going to try to do that with my plier, you can see I go right into my bead. Okay, so that motion right there, doing it with your plier is not a good idea, especially when you have um, maybe a briolet um, and they're kind of narrow at the very top. Okay, you, you are um, likely to break the top of it. Okay, so we've got that to be about, say, 45 degree angle. Okay, now I'm going to cut the wire. Okay, now I like to set up the bead so I'm holding it straight up so it helps this from spinning. Try pushing this up and holding this top bead. Now, if your bead stack is a little bit longer, you always want to be holding as close to your working point. So you can maybe have beads down here, okay? But it's important for you to be holding right here because this is where all the leverage is going to happen, not down here, because then it's going to start bending everything in between, okay? So I think of perpendiculars, I'm going to be going straight up. We're going straight out okay the next thing we're going to do is get ourselves prepped for the round nose plier okay normally when we're holding we're kind of shaking hands with it straight on okay but in this case we're going to actually need to roll our hands under okay so I'm gonna try to give you a better view of me doing that Okay, so you'll see here, maybe you can't see here. Okay. No. Okay, so normally we, you know, when we're crimping, we went right at it. Okay, in this case, we want to turn our hand around. Okay, so that way then when we roll this way, okay, you'll, you won't have to over roll and kind of go onto the floor. Okay. <laughs> Figure we can have some fun here. Oh, thank you. I'll show you show you them up close so you know all the techniques to make it. I'll show my little secret. My clasp is in the front. Okay, so I'm gonna have my hands flipped up over, rolled over. Okay, and I'm going to line this up. So remember I was talking about being perpendicular, so we're looking straight down through the hole. Okay, and the wire is kind of going straight out at the 90 degree. And you'll also see it's 90 degree with my plier here. Okay. The important thing is, is that we want to keep that 90 degrees the entire time while we're rolling our hand over, okay? So you can see how easy it is for it to get off 90 degrees, okay? So no matter how you hold it, our goal is always to try to keep that as a 90 degree. So whether the bead is this way, it doesn't matter this way, you want this to be at the 90 degree. Okay, and I'm going to slowly roll, and I don't 
no, I'm gonna maybe change angles again. zoom in too. Okay, so you can see I was <laughs> anyway. Right now. Okay, so I was rolled over here like this. I have to go back to that other angle. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Just trying to work out a better angle. But. All right, so we came around here with our wire there at the end. Okay, remember we were talking about that 90 degree, and so if we look at it, we're lined up here. Okay, and I'm, gonna, I'm just squeezing and I'm going to continue rolling until you can kind of see there at the end. There we go. Okay, and we have a nice loop. Okay, and then remember the way we open and close our rings. Now that we worked so hard to make a nice loop there. Okay, we're gonna lift this baby up and take this piece right here. Don't think I have it open wide enough here. spinning here. I don't know if you guys have that problem too. Sometimes it's easier to hold it with the plier so it doesn't do that. And this is where I like my really narrow tip pliers. Okay, I made that loop fairly small because I don't want it to be hanging down too far so that I can bend it. So then that loop is closed into there. Okay. Yay. And then this is where you can attach any type of ear wire or maybe you're going to make it a pendant. So you could put it onto some chain. Um, you could also hang this onto some wire links, you know, chain, um, or an earring. In this case, we could hook an earring to it, like this. Again, we're going to close that from front to back. You'll see I'm having to push this. Okay, and I went forward to back. Okay, pretty, pretty earring there. All right, now we're gonna do a wire wrapped loop. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna take a uh, these. I'm going to show you just the wire wrap on the bead here, okay? I'll do it with one of them. I've been really liking these mother of pearl, so I think I will do it with a mother of pearl. Okay, and I think we will
Okay, this is gonna be a little bit different than the wire loop. But the beginning steps are the same. So I'm gonna grab as close to the bead as I can. So as, and for me, I'm doing it kind of to the tip of the plier. Okay, and again, I'm pushing on the plier so I don't crack my bead. Okay, so we're gonna go about a nine or 45 degree angle. Okay, I'm grabbing, I'm, I'm starting where I left off here. So I push the wire. Okay, the next thing you wanna do here is reposition your plier. So now you've got the loop part up here. Okay, and we're going to bring the wire around and you'll see we're bending it around, let's see, our plier here. Okay, but you see we're kind of running into the bead now, right? So I'm going to reposition my my pliers out here just so we can get all the way around right here see that okay and then you want to bend it around I had to bring it out in front of the bead here okay you can't see that let me take the plier out at this angle <laughs> okay but the goal is we're kind of making a loop here also again at that 90 degree angle okay so that's that's our loop we're going to be holding on to with some chain nose pliers okay flat and smooth on, on the inside and here I'm going to hold that nice pretty loop that we have right there okay now when we are doing wire loops okay the thing is is that you have to attach it to whatever you want to right now okay it will happen to you it happens to me for sure you get uh you get that loop and then you're looping and then you want to wrap it all fast okay but it's important that we hook it to whatever it is um that you want to okay but for this demo purpose here i'm just going to make the loop all right, so I'm taking my chain nose plier and holding that nice round loop that I've made so that I can keep it that way. Okay, and I'm going to lead this wire, okay, with my fingers. And let me see if I can show that a little closer. Okay, so see the beginnings of that wrap. Okay, so if I turn it over, Okay, you'll see you want to lead that wire so that it's sitting right next to the first wrap you did. Oftentimes I wrap about two, three times. And I'm just showing you. I'm flipping it for you guys so that you guys can see it. Okay, babe. We all want to go outside. I don't know if you could hear my son. Okay. Okay, now I've clipped that. As close as I could, but you could see that I have left a little tail. Give me one second and I will try to find one for you. Okay, I'm going to get these narrow tip pliers again. See if you can put in that cabinet on the right by the... Yeah, right underneath those drawers where the cups are. Those coffee cups. Alright, so I left a little bit of a tail here. Okay, 
one of the things I like to do, sometimes it um, it's hard to lead that wire, making it all pretty and stacked the first time around. So um, my little trick in doing um, wire wraps is that, you see that little tail sticking out? I cut it so that there is a little space and you know what, instead of me holding it with my fingers, I'm gonna actually hold it with my round nose plier. Okay, and I'm going to take these darrow tip and I'm going to push this down. And what happens is is sometimes it pushes all those other ones up. Okay, so if you didn't get them perfectly spaced and you had some space in between, then it will push this up having that extra tail and then you squeeze it in there okay and you can see we have a nice wire wrap loop all right so we did a wire loop we did a wire wrap loop Okay, you can practice that over and over again, okay? It definitely requires a lot of practice. So you can play this video over and over again. Hopefully you could get a good view of it. Um, Barbara was gonna show my necklace, so I thought this could be a quick little design dissection, okay? A lot of the techniques that I showed you here uh, last week and this week are all the techniques you need in order to make what I'm was what I'm wearing here today. I can find a bunch of them. I'm where they are, just can't find a spoon in there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is improvise and I'm going to um, put the necklace in view for you guys right now. Okay. And we're going to talk about design dissection here in just a minute, as soon as I grab my son a spoon. Okay. Can you kind of see how that looks, guys? Okay, that shows a lot of wire working. Yeah, no problem, sweetheart. All right. So, were we able to see how this is done? Okay, so we talked about crimping. Okay, so this is a leftovers type necklace. This is a little bit of everything. Um, don't think I repeated a bead here. Okay, but you'll see down here is this is my clasp and oh it's a magnetic <laughs> I thought it was a screw style okay so I'll show you how I put it on but we'll continue with the dissection here but I strung it through and then I crimped it okay so that's a crimp and a crimp cover to a little bit of chain, to a nice little section of beads. And then one of the things I like about certain bead caps, now this design I've had for a long time, so don't ask me for these parts because I'm not sure that I have them, but I'm sure I have something that you can attach and make as a tassel. Okay, but I'm gonna uh, switch this view here. You can see 
can see how nice that tassel looks. Okay, adding a little bit of chain and then you'll see on the bottom of every one of those is a wire wrapped loop, okay? And then up here, you'll see that there was a wire wrapped on the top and the bottom to hook it to the chain. In this case, we did a wire wrap here. We did a wire wrap here. Just like the earrings. Did a wire wrap here and a wire wrap here, right to the little tassel. And these ones are head pin straight, so just like we did here today. And thanks again for joining me here. And remember, you can play these uh, reruns anytime. So you can play that wire loop over and over again. Um, I have also started us a YouTube channel. So you'll see uh, some links in our Facebook um, feed as well as our homepage. So all, all the ways that you might connect with us, uh, you should find a link to that so you can subscribe to our channel. You can see these anytime. Um, Tomorrow, I plan on doing another uh, bead with me at two. I am also going to work on trying to be able to do a chat room too. So a bead with me chat room where you can join other beaders along with myself and just bead or craft, okay? Doesn't matter. We'd love to see what you're doing. You just wanna, you know, shoot the breeze. Come join us. Okay, we know that people are feeling isolated, so I know that there's online stitch groups, and so I thought for those uh, that are following me here on Bead With Me, we can have a little Bead With Me chat room. Okay, so you can join me here again tomorrow at 2 p.m. We look forward to seeing you, and stay safe, healthy, and see you tomorrow.